We'll guide you through how to download and install just enough items in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, go and close off Minecraft. Next, go and open up a web browser because we need to go and download the Just Enough Items mod and also something called Forge. Forge will allow us to run mods in Minecraft. I'll run you through it, don't worry. But just a quick shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to Minecraft server host. They've got so many features like 24 seven servers and support, as well as one click mod packs and much more as you can see. There'll be a link in the description and the pinned comment and you can get 25% off your first invoice. So go and check them out. But to continue with the guide, what you wanna do is come to a search engine and go and search for just enough items like so. I like to go and get it from CurseForge, it's super easy. Once you're on the CurseForge website, go over to the right of the description and click on files. Scroll down and I like to go and get the most up-to-date version. And I also wanna make sure that mod loader is Forge as well because we're gonna use Forge to run it. But you can go and get the game version you want as long as you then have Forge for the same version. They all need to link up. So essentially because I'm getting the 1.20.2 version, I'll need the 1.20.2 version for Forge. Then come over to the right and click on the three dots and click on download file, just like so. And it will then go and download. And next we need to go and get Forge. As I said, Forge is what allows us to go and run mods in Minecraft. So go and search for Minecraft Forge, just like so. This is the website at the top here. And then what you need to do is go and choose the version on the left. As I said, you need to get the same version as you got just enough items in. Forge needs to be the same. In this case though, I've got 1.20.2. So then I can go and click on installer just here. Now, when you click on installer, you'll be taken to an ad wall. So just be aware that if there's a download button on this ad, it won't be for Forge, it's for the ad. You'll need to click on the skip button in the top right, and then you'll get taken to the download page or the download will just go and start just like that. So you've now gone and downloaded what you need. So come out of your browser and you can go and open up your file explorer and go to your downloads. So here's just enough items and forge. So I'll go and select them and then drag them onto my desktop just like so. And then we can close out of this. So first of all, we need to go and install forge. So go and double click on it just like so. And you should then go and get this mod system installer pop up. Now, if you don't, it's likely because you don't have Java installed on your system. So what you'll need to do is go and open your web browser again. And what you want to do is go to java.com. And then all you'll need to do is click on download Java and you'll then be taken to the download page, go and download it and install it. Super straightforward process. After you've done that, come back to Forge and you'll need to right click on it. Then click on open with just here and click on choose another app and you should be able to find it, select it and then press always and it should then go and run. If it still doesn't run, then what you may need to do is reassociate Java and jar files. To go and do that is super simple. You'll need to do something called a jar fix. We've got a guide on that. So just go and search for jar fix. And it's by this guy here, Johan. So go and click on it and you can go and run the program and that should go and fix your problem. So once you've got Forge running just like this, then all you need to do is make sure install client is selected and then go and click OK. It's now going to download everything it needs so you can wait. Once it's finished, it'll go and say successfully installed, go and click OK. And now all you want to do is go and open up Minecraft. So go and click on your search or and open up the launcher or go and open up however you want to. Go to the left of the play button and select the version and you need to make sure you select Forge, super important, and then run Forge just like so. You'll need to agree to this here. Once Minecraft is opened, you'll notice Forge in the bottom left and also the mods button. So go and click on mods and you then want to click on open mods folder and this will take you straight to the folder. And then what you want to do is go and drag the mod into it, just enough items. So select it and drag it in just like so. And now for it to go and be available in Minecraft, you need to go and quit the game and relaunch it, which I'll go and do now. So then we'll open up the launcher and wait for it to load. Once again, make sure you do run it with Forge. So make sure to the left of the play button that it says Forge just here and then go and click on play and wait for it to load. It's now loaded again and when I click on mods, we can then go and see just enough items. Then what we can do is we can go into a world and I'll go and show you what it looks like. So here we are in Minecraft and just to show you just enough items, when you go and open your inventory, so I'll go and press E, as you can see then on the right, we go and have this sort of section here and what you could do is go and find an item which you want to go and see the recipe for. So for example, let me go and click on a crafting table. I'll click here. You can then go and see how it can be made and what you need. 
And if you're wondering then how you actually get what's in the recipe for this, you click on it and you can then go and see the recipe for that, which is super cool. So it really breaks things down. So if you're maybe new to Minecraft or you're just not that familiar with certain recipes, super useful to have in there, especially, um, yeah, if you're new to Minecraft essentially. But yeah, that is it guys. I hope you did find this useful. If you did, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And if you're in need of a Minecraft server, then definitely go and check out Apex. As I was saying before, a big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. They're my go-to server host so many awesome features and at the moment they've got a discount on which you can go and check out as well so yeah link is in the description and the pinned comment and if there are any other minecraft guides you wish to go and see then please go and tell me um, in the comments down below as well and i'll try my best to go and make them we've got a ton more minecraft guides already coming but yeah anything specific then let me know and also general videos as well not just minecraft we do it all on guide realm so let us know what you guys want to go and see and we'll try our best to go and make it happen.